next we have the sister of Amar. Just when you thought this family didn't have enough talent. Welcome, Amira. <laughs> she just decided to sort of like right on the spot.
She can be from Albania. We don't care. This man needs a friend, a female friend. So that didn't thwart him. So I had to resort to plan B. Could you please tell him that I am Muslim and I'm perfectly content on my own? And she delivers this information to which he responds, no, 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 it doesn't matter. It's totally fine. You can be Hindu, you can be atheist, you can be Muslim. We're welcome and accepting of all. That's when I grab the phone from her and I make it clear that Are, my being Muslim may not impact you, but it does impact me. That's the reason I won't come. It's me, not you. Although there is one valuable lesson that I did learn from this exchange. Had I gone down that route, stuck with friendship for a few months, and waited until February and to that all-important day, Valentine's Day, who knows what presents I could have been gifted. And so, it is at this time that I encourage all of my Muslim sisters who have had to refuse such proposals to go to their family with this information and say on their behalf that they deserve their own Valentine's Day presents. I think we're all deserving after the many times we've had to say no. Thank you. And